Hey Wildcats, and welcome to the first episode of Wildcat Legends for the 2022 spring semester. Woo! 2022! I'm glad you're excited. We finally made it to that number that we were assigned when we first entered school, and we looked at it and we thought, that's a lifetime. That's gonna take so long, and now it's sinking in, and it's here, and it feels very surreal. All right, Wildcats, they're interviewing Zion a little bit. She's going to be telling us a little bit about Winter Guard. So what is that? Like, what is it about? It's Color Guard indoors. You do all of the same things that you would do in Color Guard but indoors. And Color Guard is, like, when you're, mar when you're marching on the field with the band, it's the visuals of the sound. You are telling the story through the, through the movements of your body, the flags, and it's, it's the visuals of the show is what it is. And that's what Winter Guard is, but indoors. And because there, there's no band, you have a track that you have choreography to. So why did you join Winter Guard? What made you interested in it? My first year doing Winter Guard was last year. That was the first time I had ever done anything guard related. And I, I wanted something to do, really. So it was, I was in eighth grade last year and like, they, that was the first year that they had offered it to eighth graders. And so I tried out, I made it, like it's, and one of the things that I really liked about it was like, you get to form a bond with the people that you are in guard with. And it's, it, you're just a big family is what it is. It's the same thing with bands. Like, yeah, you're, it's a nice extracurricular yeah. activity that's like interesting. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is your favorite thing about it so far? You get to hear something and put your heart and soul into it like to tell the story you, of can, a, you can put like the flow and the rhythm in the yeah. flags so even like without the band does it still you still do it to music yes okay all right wildcats i think that'll be it for this interview unless you have something else to say thank you so much for doing this with us you're welcome thank you all right wildcats for our next interview we're here with corey who's going to be telling us a little bit about boys basketball so i hear you had a tournament yeah, we played a lot of good local teams, and we feel like we got a lot out of it coming in the district. And we just got done playing our alumni game, which oh, is pretty cool. Oh, an alumni game. What is an alumni game for anyone who happens to be out of the loop? The alumni game is basically people who used to be at our school or used to play basketball. They come back and play, and yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's like a whole bunch of different people from like different times during exactly. School. So how did that go? Like. Was there anyone that you were surprised to be there or happy that was there? Um, yeah, a lot of people actually. It was a lot of faces that I was surprised to see there. It was a pretty good game. A lot of people had fun and yeah. All right, Wildcats, I think that'll be it for this interview. Thank you so much for doing this with us, Corey, and on to the next one. Hi, Wildcats, and for our next interview, we are here with Maddie, and we're going to ask her a couple questions about girls' basketball season. So how has the season gone up to this point? Um, we were struggling in the beginning a little bit, but I think we're coming together as a team right now in this point of the season, and I think we'll do good for the rest of district. When is your next game? Uh, we play um, home Friday against Edgewood at 615. It's a really big game, so if y'all could come out and support, it would be good. Well, make sure you come support your girls, uh, Lady Cats, on Friday, and uh, thank you so much for doing this interview with us. to our channel and don't forget to check out the rest of our videos on our channel and wait for the new ones that are going to be uploaded we have lots of stories for you this year and you know happy new year you heard it here later uh -huh.